What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be giving you a review and walkthrough of tangent templates. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you, share with you, no, share with you a review and walkthrough of tangent templates just so you can understand what it's all about and whether or not you want to purchase this for your own publishing business. Now with tangent templates, it started off as interior templates for your KDP books, but it's so much more than that and they have lots of great tools within the software. So what we're going to do is just walk through everything so you can see everything inside the software so you can make a better decision on whether or not you want to purchase. So let's take a look at the sales page. We can see they go on about what is KDP, what is Tangent Templates. Tangent Templates is a software suite created by Isaac and Catherine to make the process of creating low content books fast and easy. They have over a hundred templates in lots of different niches and they give you lots of other tools as well. Now what I'm going to do, if you want to come and check this out at all, I will leave a link down in the description below so you can come through and take a look. Disclaimer, it's not an affiliate link. Now with Tangent Templates, I absolutely love it and that's why I recommend it, but they do not have an affiliate link. So that is a shame. I'd love to recommend Tangent Templates and make commissions in the process, but it is what it is. I just want to share this tool with you because it's just such a great tool and it's only a one-time payment. So right here we can see it's only $59. Now, if you're part of Catherine's own Facebook group, they do offer a $10 off discount. I think you can only get that in their group. Now, what I'll do as well is link their group down in the description below, just in case that's something else that you're interested in. Now, on to the good stuff. Now, let's go through all these different tabs up here and explain what these are all about. Now, right off the bat, we can see all these different templates. You can actually search by templates just here. You can search for template packs and prompts and planners. We can change the grid just here so we can have a look like that or like this. I'm going to leave it like this for the time being, but we can see they have lots of different templates. They have just blank pages with numbers, which is perfect for a sketchbook. They have composition notebooks just here. And if you watched our previous video, you should now know how to create covers for composition notebooks. If you didn't see that video, I'll link that in the right hand corner. But they have graph paper, more graph paper, dot grids, hexagon, isometric paper, story paper. So this right here is perfect for a primary composition notebook. They have sheet music, guitar tabs. Now what I'll do, instead of saying all of them, I'll just slowly go through so you can see all these different types of templates that they have. Journal paper, handwriting paper, ukulele tabs. Who would have thought you'd have to go and check out that niche? Sketch paper, sermon journal, spell paper as well crazy but look lots of really great interiors that you can use now right at the bottom they have some template packs around education mindfulness paper games and low vember that was from last year and then they have the dynamic templates as well where you can actually create interiors now if we scroll back up to the top that's all of the interiors that they have it's really, really helpful stuff. Now, these two tabs just here, I'm going to go through them, but I'm not going to do an in-depth tutorial on them because these two tabs alone need a video all by themselves. Now, why is that? Well, because this one's the interior designer. So with the interior designer, you can actually go ahead and create interiors just within tangent templates. Now, from here, you can choose the size. Let's just do an 8.5 times 11. Let's do bleed. Let's do under 151 pages. And now if we click begin, it's going to take us to the designer. Now again, 
this really needs a video all by itself so that's what i actually plan on doing over the next couple of weeks a dedicated video to this designer because there's a lot of cool stuff that you can actually do but essentially it's a designer where you can create lots of different types of interiors now let's scroll no let's close that tab again i am going to do a more in-depth tutorial on that further down the line and the same goes for this the tangent builder so let's give that a second to do its thing so with the tangent builder you can construct your own customized interior you can upload a pdf you can create it from a template which you do within the interior designer you can create 50 page book 100 page book 200 and 300 again this tab just here the tangent templates and the interior designer i'm going to do a video all by itself because this is some really cool stuff i don't want this video to go on for too long this is just a review and a walkthrough on what's inside tangent templates because there's still a lot of people that don't really know and if you're trying to publish low content books this is one of the best tools out there so again with the tangent builder and the interior designer i am going to create a separate video oh wrong tab so let's go back to here so that's tangent interiors we saw how many the interior designer and the tangent builder just here go hand in hand because you can create some really cool interiors then they also have the kdp helper now this is a lifesaver now what does this does what does this does i can't even talk again so what this does you put in all of your data for the book that you want to create and it spits out all of the dimensions that you'll need for the certain type of software that you use so let me show you what i mean let's do an 8.5 again let's say 100 pages let's do white and let's do bleed yes because let's just pretend that this was for a composition notebook now if we click continue we can see that it spits out the dimensions. We can have the dimensions for the cover and or for the interior. Very, 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 what the hell is wrong with me today? Very important stuff. Now, if we scroll down, we can see you get the dimensions for the print ready PDF cover. You can also download a template. So this is where I get my templates to put into Canva so I can create my covers. All I do is click download and then upload that into Canva. And then right here, right here is the dimensions for Canva, Keynote, PowerPoint, and all of the Adobe Suite just here. Me personally, I only use Canva, so this is where I would get the dimensions. Now, if we scroll back up and go to interior, we can also get the interior dimensions as well. Now, if we scroll down to roundabout here, you're going to get it for Canva, Keynote, PowerPoint, and again, the Adobe Suite. So this is the dimensions just here, which you would need to create your interior you just take these put it into canva if that's what you use and then you can start creating your book so this alone this kdb helper is very very helpful now there's also listing helper so this is a really great tool they also have a chrome extension which goes along with this if we scroll down to the bottom you can see that the extension just here this is where you would download it there's more information about it here but what this essentially does is make a template for your books so if you're creating a handful of books in a certain niche using a similar title similar keywords similar description or maybe even the same description depending on what type of book then this is very very helpful so right here this is where i'd make my title so your title would go here subtitle would go here i'm going to show you an example of this and how it actually works so here we can see a preview on how your title would look obviously this is just for an example right here is where your description would go so your description with lots of writing in there so let's just do that then right down here is your keywords so keyword here long tail keyword here 
or whichever keyword strategy that you'd want. You'd use that here and just fill up your keywords. Now remember, this is only important if you're creating similar books. Similar books with similar titles or similar keywords. This tool is perfect for that. So let's just pretend we've filled out all of that. We can do the pen name just here. So your pen name would go here, would go here. So if it's, let's say, Pink Dog Publishers, you'd have your Pink Dog and then Publishers here. So this is just for your pen name. Again, this is very, very helpful if you are creating similar books. Then you have more options here where you can enter some stuff. You can even add your categories. I don't really do that. And then your listing profile name just here. This is for a test so I can show you. So let's just put that there and then you can put some notes in here if you choose to. That is in the wrong one. So let's put that down here, some notes. And then all you would do is click save. Now, once you've got that template set up, it makes things so much easier, again, if you're going to create a similar book. So let's go over to my Kindle publishing account. Let's go to paperback just here. And now I can show you that Chrome extension in action. Now I am going to have to blur out my own listings, but what you want to do is come to here once you have it installed, click on the Chrome extension. Let's just give that a second. I am going to refresh because we just saved that new template. Let's just scroll back off there. Let's go back on. And now in the drop down menu just here, I should be able to see that template that listing template just here. So let's click on there. And now we have it, test. Now I've got a lot more as you can see below, but I am going to blur that out. Now, if I click on test, do that. And there we go. We can see it's now filled out all the information that we put into the template just here. So now if we take a look, we can see that's where your title would go, your subtitle, your pen name would go here. We can see it's filled that out. It's filled out the description and then it's filled out your keywords as well and the categories if you choose them. So again, this tool, this listing helper is very, very helpful. And this is just one of the tools within the suite of tangent templates. The next one they have is a category explorer. This is really helpful as well if you struggle finding categories. Top tip, the easiest way to find categories is find the categories best suited to your niche. So right here, we can do a category search or a category browse. You can actually browse through all of the categories that there are for your books. Or if you want to try and find a category, let's just type in animal. Click search, it's going to find where that category is. So right here, we can see non-fiction art, subjects and themes, plants and animals. Non-fiction, humor, topic, animals. This has pulled up all of the categories with animals in them. So if I were to create some type of animal low content book, I'd now try and find the best category here best suited for my book. So again, this is another really great tool within Tangent Templates. They also have a pricing calculator. I actually use this quite a lot. You can put in your type, your print type, whether that's paperback or hardcover. You can do black. This is the ink, black, color premium, color standard. Let's save that as black. Then you can put in the number of pages. Let's do a hundred, not a thousand. The list price that you want to list your book at, let's do an average $6.99. We're going to do it in USD, dollars, click calculate. And now you can get your estimated royalties for that book if this is the data for your book. So if you were to create a paperback with black ink, 100 pages, priced at $6.99 in the US market, you can expect to make around $2.04 royalty on that book. So this, again, is just another great tool to have where you can calculate your royalties. Then they also have a few more tools just here. Let's click on there. They have the PDF inspector, image converter, 
DPI calculator. That's very important for creating books because you always want your images with at least 300 DPI. But then they have a pen name generator, quick mock-up, trademark check, cover panels, and interior reference chart. So that's everything that you get within Tangent Templates. Now they also have lots of instructions, tutorials on how to use all of these softwares. If you click right here in the right hand corner and go to instructions, you can see all the videos that they have created. So again, I hope this video has helped you come to the conclusions on whether or not you want this tool. My personal opinion is that this tool is one of the best out there which you can have as a low content book publisher and it doesn't break the bank. This isn't a recurring program that you have to pay for. It's a one-time payment and again for only $59 and again if you want to try and get a discount for it go over to their group, join their group and ask in there because Catherine's more than helpful and she always gives out the discount codes in her own group so again that's tangent templates i hope that you do really go and purchase this software if you are serious about low content book publishing because again it's one of the best out there and for 59 dollars a one-time payment you get so much and again with this interior designer and the tangent builder just here you can actually create some really nice interiors. And again, I plan on doing a video all about this in the next couple of weeks so you can see how to use it. I was going to put it in this video, but this video was just a rundown of the software, an updated one because I haven't made one in a very long time, but it was just an overview of the software so you can see what you actually get inside. If I were to add these two features into this video, it would have gone on for absolutely ages. So again, I am going to create a video all about these two. I really hope that this video has helped you make a decision on whether or not you want tangent templates for your own business. I personally reckon it's one of the best tools out there that you can get. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.